everyone, it's Chi-Town Tracy with Art Attack and I am here to show you what I created for a swap that I'm in at Scrap the World, which is Tamika's um, group. Um, well, it's Tamika's uh, channel. She has a blog and she always does monthly swaps. And they're pretty fun and they're always very different. They're always very clever. I like what she comes up with. This month they are a mini altered book charm. Which I will link the video where she actually makes it because it was super easy and they're super cute. Um, it, it, it's really super easy to make. They're one by ones and just super simple. I did want to show you a couple of things that I used. Um, let me show you. I used um, this Recollections paper, which is really pretty. Um, I don't know if you guys got a chance to buy it, but it's almost like feels like linen, linen paper. And then I also used the new Sweetheart Collection, which is the Tilda 2015 that just came out. Um, I used quite a bit in my little stack, so that's always fun. When I start to see my, my stacks diminishing, I like that because I'm actually using my papers. Um, I used um, this paper here and this paper. And this all does come with matching fabric, so you should totally check it out. It's a very pretty pad, and again, this is a Sweetheart Collection. And it goes very well with these papers too. So I used that. I left everything I used out so I can kind of show you as I go along. Um, I made um, the charms. These I got, you see this little charm here? This little heart charm, this isn't actually, this one, um, I made, these are just little hollow hearts and you can fill them with any color glitter you want and or a picture or whatever this is very tiny i used some um, glass glitter in there and then i used um the actually I've tried this the aliens jewelry pendant it's okay um so i just thought that was really cute and you can add any color you want to it i like it better with the fine glitter but I hope you can't hear my kids arguing downstairs. <laughs> so anyway, so this is a sweetheart paper. This is a wild orchid craft um, flower. This is a bow, seam binding bow. You know, I love my bow doll um, with my bow doll and seam binding from the shop. These are just some charms that I had. And um, this is the, the, the recollections paper. I used... Um, my whole punch these are the punches that i use all the time that we are memories keepers um i use those and i also have a crocodile so those are the punches i used i use the prima wire i don't know if i used to sell this in the store but it's prima wire and i used it to attach the charm to the paper so again i'm going to attach the the uh the tutorial where you can learn how to make these super easy super cute so then we had to package them in you know in a cute way so let me see if I can find my die okay I'm trying to find the set oh, here it is. okay so this is the set that I use it's a Sizzix I do not sell this um, but it's 657094 and I followed, I know a lot of people have made these, but I use my friends as a guide and it's super cute. This is hers. This is made by, um, Madison Reese. That's her channel name. Her name is Teresa. Teresa made that, so I wanted to use it. And I've seen other people make them, but um, I got a couple from my friend Teresa. So I used this die. And it was kind of hard because you have to layer it. And with the holes and stuff, not all the papers were worked well with it, let's say. So I do like that die set, so I used that. And I made this little shaker. Let's get some die here. So this little shaker, and I put some of my sequins in it. You can see that I used foam too. Um, this cray paper is actually just a streamer that I either got at Walmart or the dollar store. I don't, I don't think the dollar store has pink. Maybe they do have pink, but that's what that is. And I just backed it on there. 
Um, again, this is the tilde paper. I used my Martha Stewart punch to punch out the butterflies and used my doodle bug um, glitter to glitter it up. The sugar, I think it's the sugar, something sugar. So I added, this is from my stash, this is from my stash. And I just think it looks really cute. Now the envelope was made with a new dye that I just got in my store. I really like it. And it's this one. I do have one more in the store. It's called the French General. And it's a really, really cute dye because you can make this little adorable envelope. So here's one. So that's how it looks. And you can decorate the front or leave it plain or use that as a front either way. So that's that. The twine I used was from the dollar store. And now I did make one that I liked and you can see that I cut the edges and I used these um, Teresa Cullen Fis Fiskers scissors just to cut the edges. And I wish I would have done that with all of them, but I already had glued it on. So that is um, part of my swap. I, of course, I always send um, some goodies, so I will be um, making some goodies. I think I'm going to send some of my new felties that I made. I don't know if you guys seen these, but I'm going to send, I'm not exactly sure which ones I'm going to send, but I've made extra ones to send. So that's what I'll be doing. And I will get this off to Tamika and it is a group swap. Um, well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know and please be sure to check out uh, Scrap the World which is Tamika's channel, and I'll link that. Well, I'm going to link the tutorial so you'll find her channel. And um, please, um, thanks for watching. I don't know what I'm saying. Bye. <laughs>